still get this for a coincidence. I This kind of slightly blew my mind a little bit. It's so weird, actually. Uh, I'm sure you guys are going to think the same. One year ago, yesterday, so the 26th of September, 2021, was the day that we left on our first ever van trip in the van when we left to go get the ferry, the overnight ferry to Spain from England. It was on the 26th of September, 2021. And then yesterday was the 26th of September, 2022. And we boarded another overnight ferry, completely randomly, not, not planned at all. It was just completely random that it happened to fall on that day when there was availability. So that's not the only coincidence. But when we left on the van trip last year, the first day we were on the van trip on the 26th, our inverter, our old inverter in the van, blew up. Literally went kaput. Yesterday, on the 26th of, tw of September, 2022, our inverter in this van also blew up and went kaput. And then it doesn't end there. 2021, on the 26th of September, as we were crossing from England to Spain, we were in a heavy thunderstorm and the seas were rough as hell. Last night, exactly the same. We got a severe weather alert on our phones as we were sitting off from the port and we were all like, oh, I hope it's not rough. It was so bad last night, it was terrible. This time it was better because we were all in one cabin. The girls weren't as kind of like, because they were they were a bit freaked out by it last time. This time they weren't because we were all in the same cabin and we could just, you know, we were all together and it was all good. But we were basically getting launched out of our beds and then ripped back into them every two seconds last night from, a, from about midnight till 4 a.m. And then it's chilled out. But four hours of rough sea, like seriously up and down and up and down. It was bad, it was really bad. I can't believe Mila and Jace solidly slept through it all, but it was really bad. Probably the worst, probably actually worse than when we went in 2021, and that's saying something because that was really bad. So yeah, it was, it was mad. So we've had all them coincidences. We were on an overnight ferry on the same day, exactly one year apart. Horrendous storm in the middle of the night, exactly one year apart. And our inverter blew up exactly one year apart. So weird. I thought that was crazy, crazy weird anyway. I never noticed the stairwell. I'm gonna climb it and see where it goes. It's such a lovely day today. If you're in the middle of the ocean like where we are right now on a yacht and you could chill, it is so hot today out here. It's gorgeous. Wow, this is so cool. I'm right on the roof right now. This is cool, man. There's not a drop of wind out here right now. It just feels super, super, it just feels hot. I almost feel like I need to take my beanie off right now. That's pretty cool, I'm on the helipad. Definitely not about to swing this camera around everywhere because there's literally people sunbathing everywhere. This is cool, man. So our van's not parked on this deck. Our van's right underneath with all the lorries, um, like deep underground on the bottom deck. But this looks pretty cool. What a beautiful day to be sailing now. Would not have thought that in the middle of the night last night. That is terrifying. I would not like to be in that. One thing I am a little bit gutted about last night is the fact that I know in the night, me and Sarah were, we were whispering to each other when it was really bad, that we would love to go out and see like how the waves were, because I bet the swells were absolutely massive last night. I wanted to, you could hear the thunder, like you could physically hear the thunder, and then after the, after the thunder, you could hear the, um, the must have been the, the waves hitting the side of the boat, and then after that was the creaking of all the joints in the boat. But the noise of the waves hitting the side of the, the, the boat metal was just it, it, it was insanely loud it was so loud it was like it was hitting rocks so i would have loved to have come out here and seen the swells but obviously we couldn't do that because if we'd have moved we'd have woken Mila and jason and everybody else up so i absolutely love the sea it's so so fascinating and so beautiful but it's so terrifying at the same time so whilst Mila is having a nap we've got about an hour and a half left on the boat i'm gonna go give you a little tour of this ship coming out of our room you can turn either left I'll turn right. And we've just got a maze of these corridors between all the different cabins that are either side. We're gonna go this way towards the info, which is where the bar is on this deck and the play area that we've been in before now. We're on deck six right now. And it really is just a maze of corridors until you get to the bar area. So we're on the top deck, deck six, and there's not much up here, just basically a bar and a play area, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I'm gonna spin around the corner towards the info signs. No camping in the stairways. You can run here. A bar area in there. Heads downstairs to deck number five. First stop, we're gonna head outside. Go check out what the weather's doing, what the sea's doing. Boom. It's a beautiful sunny day. 
up along the coastline of Italy, which you can just about see on the horizon. You can see land of some sort right on the very tip of the horizon. It's a bit hazy though, so it's very hard to see and it definitely won't be able to see it on the camera, but it's a beautiful day. Okay, let's go back inside. Got a little shop on the left. This is the restaurant area and like the main deck where you sit if you haven't booked a cabin. It's kind of like aeroplane seats everywhere with numbers. You can pre-book a seat or you can just get a random seat when you come on, but they could all be taken then. But if you pre-book one, it's extra money, obviously. And then that's your seat guaranteed to sit in overnight if you don't get a cabin. Then up here, we've got the restaurant. I'm not gonna take it right up because it's full of people eating dinner right now, but that's at the top, duty-free shop. Down here is the basically back the way to the garages where the cars are all the way down the bottom of this corridor and then you're pretty much down back to where the van is and all the rest of the lorries and stuff like that here. We've got actually just asked the reception at the info desk and we've actually arriving a little bit later in at 6 p.m. Um, so we've actually got two hours and a bit left on the boat. I thought we only had an hour and a bit. But there we go. That is pretty much a tour of our ferry from Greece, Agomenitsa to Ancona in Italy. Goodbye, Greece. Welcome to a very rainy Italiano. It's time to get back on the road. What's up, everybody? Good morning from a very. I'm gonna close the door because the girls want two lessons right now in the front. A very chilly motorway rest stop in the north of Italy. We are just on our way to the Dolomite Mountains. We're just above Venice. We have about three hours to go until our destination for today, or our goal for today, hopefully, is what we're gonna reach. A very, very beautiful and special place in the Dolomite Mountains. Hoping for snow, because there may well be snow. And we're fully equipped, we're ready for some coldness now. It is absolutely chilly this morning here in Italy. It's a very beautiful day, but it ain't warm. Ain't warm. I'm guessing it's probably about 15 or so degrees, which 17 degrees, which feels very, very cool <laughs> right now compared to the high 20s, 30 that we've been experiencing for the last couple of months. So we're all ready to go. Everything's done this morning. Uh, we're just waiting for uh, Isabel to finish up on her last tutor session this morning, and um, and then we're going to hit the road. We've got about a three-hour drive today. I'm hoping that we make it all the way there and in good time to like explore the place again and have a good time there. Fingers crossed, but we'll see what happens on the road. All depending on how kind of Mila and Joyce uh, are, and how good moods they're in today about, about traveling and etc. etc. We always try and time these drives so that it's around like both of their, kind of, they'll fall asleep times. Like not so much Jace, like he does fall asleep in the car, in the van and you know, he does, he's a really good boy like that. And he's very, very easily pleased with Jace. So Jace will play with his toys, he'll draw, he'll colour, he'll watch his iPad. Mila, she doesn't love the van, so we always try and time. I mean, she's never a bad girl. It's just, some, I mean, sometimes like any baby would, you know, she gets restless so she wants to get out of the seat. But usually we try and time it so that we, her naps fall on the times basically when we're driving. Anyways, whilst everyone's chilling and I'm just putting some stuff away, I thought I would give the front windows a clean because they are disgusting. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> what are you taking Mick for? Whilst well, everyone's chilling, I'm gonna go clean yeah. me van windows. Yeah, I am. <laughs> because we're YouTubers and we film out the windows oh. all the time, but all you can see is like no, we don't. dirty. I always pull the window down. Well, yeah, sometimes oh. we film out the front, but all you can see is dirty fingerprints from Mila and Jace whenever they stood on my seat and they're going bang, 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 oh, bang on the windows. Hey? Oh, it's a Christmas tree. Your little what? Christmas tree. Christmas tree? Yeah, I'm in the Christmas spirit. It's mm -hmm. gonna be cold today, hopefully, where we're going, so. It's already cold to me. Right, I'm showing these doors now full. You guys enjoy your chill time while I go slave away. Mm-hmm. Cleaning my windows. I'm gonna try to do this without disturbing his line in the front, but I mean look, can you see the state of the finger and handprints from Mila? All over. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm gonna start with the back and finish the front when Isabel's finished. Will this be the last tour of Italy? <laughs> and I may have just sent Chris to the roof boxes to get out some winter clothes because it's cold here, oh my gosh. So we got off the boat yesterday. We made the drive from 
the port that we were at midway through Italy up to Venice. Last night we got a good night's rest, we got up this morning and we've driven and we're making our way into Austria. We are going to hit the Austrian border in the next 30 minutes or so. But we've just stopped off at the supermarket because we need a few bits. Don't we little man? Don't we? <laughs> right, I need to get dressed first, I need to get changed. A <laughs> little bit creased as probably everything that we've got in the top boxes because they've all been in vacuumed bags, including our coat padding. I don't look half nice. Did You don't half look nice, is it saying? You don't look half nice. It's not you don't look half nice, is it? No, it's you don't half look nice. You don't half look nice. You don't look half nice. <laughs> No, it's okay, Isabel. Don't worry. Don't worry, darling. Don't confuse your head. <laughs> yeah, all of our coats are up in the top box, so they'll probably all be really squidged in and creased as anything too. Where we're going today? Have you said where we're going today? We're, going, we're, we're, in, the do we're in them now. We're in the Dolomite yeah, we're in the Dolomite mountains. mountains right now. We're about to cross the border into Austria in about half an hour, right? No. 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 Oh. No. Not today. Oh. Not even today. No. Really? Not today, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's a good brace. We're going to Lago de Braze, I did know that. We're in the Dolomite Mountains, we're going to Lago de Braze, which is a place that was so special to us when we last came on this road trip that we wanted to do it again. Anyway, we're ready to go into the Dole. Should we go see if there's got some little trolleys? Come on. Little's on it with cheeky ones today. Look at this, this is the cheeky one. Are you ready for this? So, 12 times rusty key, corn worstle. Yeah, 17 cents, right? There's 12 in that bag. So what would you think of that was? You think that was 17 cents, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I that's what I think. I think that was 17 cents in the bag. And tell me this look. Chris never comes 20 shopping. cents for 10. 10 in the bag. 20 cents for 10, right? No, it's, no, it's 20 cents per one. So it's two euros. That's very very naughty little. Very cheeky indeed. Thought I got a bargain. Oh, but these tomatoes. We've been on it with tomatoes recently, and oh, look how good these look. Little Miss Mila, Rosie Bell, what are you doing? Mm hmm. Hmm. You being a good girl, uh, Mila. Uh, Mila. Spicked. Spicked. Where's my little man? He's got his little trolley. Yeah. Okay, Jace, one thing though we're not gonna do is I'll tell you what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna fill up your trolley, okay? Okay. Oh boy. Because it's funny. Is that what? They are peppers. Oh, peppers. Mm -hmm. I really like peppers. You like them? Yes. Yeah. Where's my mama gone? She's gone to go get some bread. Today is the first day that I've worn a jumper yeah, and socks and mommy. trainers for two months. And it feels really weird, not gonna lie. It feels so weird to have my feet put up. Why is it that they're bread in Lidl and stuff always just looks so good? I love Lidl and Aldi. Just the fact that you can go anywhere in the world and you always know what you're gonna get. It's always the same, whether it's in the UK or here, it's always the same. I just like that, it's kinda like Premier Inn at home. You always know what you're gonna get, so it's good. It's always good. <laughs> have you got so much shopping there? Yeah, but I need to run back. Need to run back, we'll be careful of the cars, okay? Let's go. I genuinely think when we get home, Jace is going to be devastated that um, that he doesn't have these trolleys. Although they might have them in some stores in the UK. I know IKEA often do them. I'm not sure what other shops do, but Jace loves them. It's actually made him love shopping. He likes to be in the shops. He's like, can I come? Can I get a mini trolley? And he's like, what shall I get off the shelf? Tell me. What about these? Should I put them in my trolley or your trolley? So cute. Good boy. Good boy. And then he likes to um, put it on the conveyor belt at the end and then he likes to take it off and put it back into his trolley. It's so cute. And because of that, not, not because of that, but I'm so glad he loves to do that because I might have got him a little wooden supermarket with a trolley for Christmas. That's going to be going off to Santa. You'd like a supermarket for Christmas, Jace? What? Would you like a little pretend supermarket for Christmas? Yes! With a little trolley so you can, and lots of pretend foods yeah. so you can do your own shopping at home yeah. and a till and you could be the shop cashier and I can come to your supermarket and get food. So nice. yeah. That'd be really fun wouldn't it? What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> right now it's time to play Tetris. Oh, time to got an egg. Got an egg? egg? Oh my gosh, Isabel's talking about these. Hey, Mum, you got an egg! Oh, no. She's talking what? about these. Oh. Oh, oh. French omelette, oh. Spanish omelette, like sorry. Egg. What? Egg. It's an onion one, egg. yeah. Oh, I got two of these, delicious, delicious. Everyone's already tucking in. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, we will have fridge, fridge first, I didn't get much fridge stuff. 
Every time we pull up at the supermarket, everyone's like, oh my gosh, yes. Get the food out. Right, send to play Tetris and see if we can get all this packed. Oh and did you ever speak about the fact that we broke one fridge? So now we're down to one fridge. No, I don't think so. Actually. Our fridge has stopped working. Our main fridge. Our main fridge. So not the big under seat one, which is probably a good thing. Um, but the other one, so now we've got a lot less fridge space. What, darling? Really sucks. You're talking. Yeah, it's a really shame because we only just managed before, didn't we? Yeah. With the fridge just... space, we only just managed, so now we're having to really limit like fridge stuff like, that we're buying. Uh, they don't need to go in the fridge. I only bought it a year ago. I don't know what's up with it. None of these. Do. No, they don't go in the fridge. They're not yogurt. They're like fruit. These. Yeah, they don't go in the fridge. And the winner for the most picturesque little goes to this one. For sure, hands down. Look at how beautiful these mountains are. And trust me when I say the camera is doing it no justice whatsoever. It is stunning here. I love when you hit the Dolomite Mountains and then you just start. Everywhere starts looking really, I don't want to offend anyone by saying this, but like ski village, like Swiss. Like it reminds me of Switzerland everywhere. I know it's going to be an Austrian influence because obviously the Dolomites border Switzerland and Austria. So, but everywhere just feels like a, a really cute Swiss ski village resort. I love it, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite, favorite places in the world. Give me mountains and cold over beaches any day. Somehow I managed to fit it all in. We're gonna have a spot of lunch before we get back on the road. Guys, I know we're complaining a lot about the UK and prices at the minute, me too included, because don't even get me started on the increase of bills and everything. But honestly, supermarkets in Europe are so expensive. They're insane. They're even if you come to Lidl or Aldi, you can't, like, like we didn't get hardly anything then. We barely got any luxuries, although, no, we did actually get a few luxuries. We got crisps. We got quite a few bits for Jason. Think it's the drink that's more expensive. Yeah. Well, we've just been to Greece where two two litre bottles of Coke were one euro sixty. Here, for two two litre bottles of Coke, it's three euros eighty. So it's over double. Yeah, is it? No, it's, yeah. Hiccup him. Oh, we did get a few luxuries then, but we basically got lunch, a box of donuts, a couple of other little bits, but not like a big shop. Some crisps and things, and then a really cheap dinner for tonight, which consists of a pasta, a couple of sauces, a bit of cheese to sprinkle on top, and two of those omelette thingy in my bobby doos. 80 euros. It was, 80. No, it wasn't. It was 83 something. Let's be specific. And Chris thought we were getting a box of those um, sub hot dog things for 17 cents. Yeah, I was buzzing The only about thing that. we're getting for 17 cents in a supermarket here is your bag on the way out. <laughs> Have I got something on my face? But you get a nice view. But you get a nice view. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm saying is that it is really expensive. It's not really expensive, I guess it's how you shop. But fruit and vegetables and things like that, like we got three cucumbers and for three cucumbers it was nearly four euros. Whereas at home you can get a cucumber for 44p, can't you? Yeah. I need to take the bag off. So it costs like more than double. Yeah, exactly. And it's and it's there where you really notice it. Tomatoes. It was like three euros fifty nine for a pot of um what they called cherry tomatoes. And you really notice it with things like that. Anyway, um we're gonna have a bite of bite of lunch. Bite of lunch. I'm gonna set the vlog and then up we Chris is gonna set the vlog up and then we're gonna get back on the road. Okay, before we get on the road, quick stop at the petrol station. Petrol here, just thought I'd give you guys a little update. The cheapest place has been Albania. But the petrol here is 184 euro if someone comes to your car and puts it in for you. Or one euro seventy-four if you can drag yourself out of your car and put your petrol in yourself. Needless to say, Christmas tree man. <laughs> it's studying hard. <laughs> I should say we're still in Italy as well. We're in Italy right now, just in case anyone wants to know. Yeah, we're in Italy. 80 euros to fill our tank back to the top. As we're about to head back into the mountains where there's probably not going to be a lot of petrol stations, so best to top up before we leave. because I've literally got all of the feels right now. So basically, who rec will you recognize it? I don't know, who recognizes this spot? It's a lot different from when we were last here, but we just drove about half an hour up, up. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it, half an hour vertically up 
not quite vertically obviously but there is warnings all over the road saying you can only do it with certain tires on you've got to have a certain tire because of the weather here and the ice etc etc we're right up in the dolomites now and oh my gosh we were on the road going up and i was like we've drove this road before and chris was like have we i was like we've drove this road and it, there was nothing on the road that told me that it was just a road and i was like no i i re I, re I know we drove this road i recognize it so much and i was like do you know when we drove it it's when we were all going oh my gosh look this floor's glittering oh my gosh there's snow there's snow and we were all getting really really excited and then i said at the top of this road when we get to the end at the top we're going to come out on that um that hotel that we stopped at and I think we got out of the van and vlogged it and we took pictures because they were thick of snow and then we drove two seconds down the road like literally two seconds down the road and we parked up for the night and it was just the biggest snow lake you've ever seen that's where we were parked I've got a picture on our Instagram definitely the travel one maybe my my personal one as well I'm not too sure we spent the night there we were parked up there. This hotel was closed because it was, well, I don't know why, I don't know why, but it was closed because I can remember heading over to the shop that was over there. We needed something and it was all shut up. It was all shut up. Um, that's the hotel down there somewhere. You can't see because, oh my gosh, look at the foot this is how high up we are right now i was just saying to chris how crazy it is that we go from like jumping in the water to cool off to, to like ice cold minus temperatures like absolutely freezing it's so funny i was also just saying to the girls because everyone's like going oh my god i'm so happy to be here i can't believe we're here can i get out and recreate the picture i did last year etc 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 and when we asked the girls at the start of this trip where do you want to visit on this trip so many with what the girls said girls said and, and like suggested were things we'd done on our last trip now we do like to travel the globe we do like to explore but it's so funny how a lot of the time we're so desperate to come back and recreate memories because they're so magical in our night in our memories of when we were last here and the girls literally just was like they couldn't believe we were here they were like this is so exciting it's so cool to see this place now that it's not because just because we had so many happy memories here last year and now to see it like in obviously cold weather but not thick of snow like it was thick of snow um it's really really cool i remember being parked up there opening the door and jace and me, what did jace do i put his shoes on and he took them jace was only two and a half me and chris were just saying like we can't believe jace was two and a half He's gonna be four in March. How is how was he two and a half? But we were saying that we put Jace's shoes on to get out in the snow, and I can remember him crying to take his shoes off because he thought the snow was like sand. So he'd take his shoes off to go in sand. And he wanted to do that and he was having none of it. He was like, no, take my shoes off. And I was like, it's cold. And he didn't understand. And I was like, no, no. So I just let him take his shoes off and he put his foot in the snow and he's like, ah! It was so cute, it's so random, but it's just one of our cute memories. But yeah, so cool to be back here. We're not staying here, we are just passing through, but I couldn't get out and not vlog. It's so cool. I told, I told, you, not, I told you not to get out. I was saying to Esme, you need to as I said it's too cold. It's like, please, I need to create my we've picture. Been, we've not been in we've not been in cold weather since home. <laughs> Show me what you're recreating. Are you sure you want to go do it? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's gonna be snowing like in a week. <laughs> So Esme's just found this. <laughs> Hang on a sec, put it down a bit like that. Oh, yeah. That's it. So this was taken near this hut just here. There's not, there's oh my gosh, so cold. There's only one log. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole year. Don't pretty much. It. Remember we heard the water, it's like a water thing. Oh my gosh, it's there, look. It's like a fresh water tap constantly running. Oh, I'm where so not cold, you're too cold water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, Isla wanted to join too because there's a picture of Isla. <laughs> oh look at the van, it's so cosy. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love our adventures and our travels and summertime and jumping in water to cool down. <laughs> but there's just something amazing and magical and just just so nice about being somewhere cold and it all being like glowy and it's cold, isn't it? <laughs> we'll get back in the got a skirt on. I know. <laughs> Pictures recreated one year later. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Yay! Right, come on, it's absolutely freezing. Look at our cozy van over there. Look at, oh my gosh, I can remember waking up the next morning. Sorry guys, I'm probably irritating you all so bad. But I can remember waking up here the next morning and the mountain there being incredible. In fact, I'm gonna find that vlog. I wonder if we can find that vlog, I bet we can. I remember the mountain there just being insane. Right, come on. Oh my gosh, I can't cope with how cute this place is. Everywhere just looks so magical. 
Okay guys, we've finally arrived. It didn't take too much longer. We stopped at another little place that we visited on our trip last year. Esme, don't get that picture up. I don't know oh how Esme God. spotted it. Because it's, it looked I, complete. I we were, a mile away. We were, we're only driving past. We were only driving past and you couldn't even see the mountain. And me and Chris were quietly talking about it in the front because Mila was asleep. And then Esme quickly passed her iPad to Isla, who was sat behind us, passed it to me. Stop! Yeah, and Stop. was like, this is where we're driving past right now. It's this spot. <laughs> this is the place we're talking about. We drove past. We didn't bother stopping this time because it started to rain. And we looked. This entire mountain right here was full the fog. The fog was completely, like, you could you could only just see, like, that much at the top of the yeah. biggest one. It was completely fogged over. We still break all to drive past. And actually, the whole drive was like, oh, my gosh, remember when this happened that year? Do you remember? I don't know. How I spotted that road. I mean, obviously, we're rooting to the same place, but we must have took, we obviously took Dad, the exact same that road. Door. It's so cold. But last time we drove here, yeah, can you, can I... last time we drove here, it was literally pitch black. So it's so weird that I just recognised the same road. And me and Chris were saying it's really cool because, as beautiful as this place is, if it hadn't have been for the fact that we went last time, it wouldn't have been half as exciting this time. Yeah. Because it was kind of like reliving those amazing feelings that we had the first time we came. <laughs> it was really exciting. We all found it very exciting. I thought he was crying then. Jace, by the way, just literally went like this to Isabel. He sat at the side of her and he went, Isabel, <laughs> you pooed yourself. I was in a really hyper mood. <laughs> I was in a really crazy mood. <laughs> <laughs> literally just, <laughs> <laughs> you pooed well, yourself. I, <laughs> I don't know where he's got that from. Probably is, mate. No, I didn't. I never did that. Oh, uh, by the way, what so, are you so I was just going to film um, this drive. I've been making a present for Isla. You made it, is it? No. <laughs> Same bits. But I'm making her Strange Things Demogorgon. 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 Plus you think. And obviously it's all the bits and it's not the right, it's not like the exact colours. Obviously it's lighter but it's still yeah. look like the Demogorgon. And I've got all this little... Oh, it's too different. Face <laughs> things. And I'll probably be finished by tomorrow so I can show you guys it. That's really cool. I just said it will only take her an hour. Now she's just finished tomorrow. Yeah, well, I underestimated it. Uh, at least you're getting something, Isla. It's yeah, so I'm kind really of it to excited. make you something. I'm really excited for it to make me. I'm and I was like, I'll make you my gift <laughs> at Christmas time when, like, <laughs> yeah. she makes his things. But she was, like, in the car and making you a present. It's like, this. Aww. I like this strange thing. I was like, Eggos? Where's <laughs> my inspiration right there? Like, damn it, dog. And, I was, and, but I, and then I said, a can of Coke. So what? Like, she crushes can of Coke. And I was like, yeah, it's can of Coke. And I was like, she's like, oh. Oh, cool. And I was like, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Guys, genuinely, one of my favourite things to do is look through Esme's iPad because this girl is absolutely crackers. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. The stuff that she gets up to in her bedroom. I'm always like, oh, she's probably just sat, like, I don't know, playing on a phone or something. No, no. Esme never ever does that. She's just absolutely bonkers. So we've just been watching through a video, right, let's just tell the story, right? <laughs> right, come on. <laughs> Mom, this is in February la uh, this year. <laughs> you No, do the other one first. No, no I don't do embarrassing, <laughs> Mom. Oh, you're fine. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> it's not my fault that, I mean, it's not my fault that I love myself. I was just in a silly mood, please. I was just in a silly mood, please. <laughs> I can't even be an opera singer. And it's about to shut up, man. I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> what happened? Say it again. Shut, shut up, man. I'm trying to. Oh, oh, Isabel came into the room and she was like. Esmaya, shut up, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to watch my telly. I was like, so and then, then, so then, then she filmed this. So then she filmed this after she got told to shut up. And the sharpest words wanna cut me down. <laughs> I'm just joking, I got it. I'm gonna send a flood, gonna drown the man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <sighs> there's so many memories on these iPads yeah. and phones. Yeah. This iPad. Esme uses yeah. her phone and iPad for all the best reasons because she creates the most insane memories. In fact, all of them do. Isabel creates, um, captures memories, but usually for others. So Isabel's always. 
in 2015. Dad bought it for work in 2015. That's crazy. Or 14. So or Isabel catches memories of other people. She always got a phone out. She always like capturing pictures of other people when they're not expecting it. Esme just captures pictures of herself, but they're the best. Anyway, <laughs> let's what. <laughs> Yeah, we can. Oh, right. Second time lucky. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs>